So I just got an email from JJ at Enamon, and um, he told me that he just released a 1.01 version of the demo. So that is this guy right here. And he said that um, the 20 minute limit that they put on this is 20 minutes per session that you open it. So if I open it, I get 20 minutes, close it, and I can open it again another 20 minutes, all right? It's every time you open it. And he is opened up. This is a great, great thing. So I really want to uh, shout him out that he enabled the whole panel now. So that means you get a full demo as it would be if you bought the program, which he's only charging, if I remember right, it's like 40 bucks something like that i think it's like 40 bucks for it all right so let's use it and now we can hear it live that's kind of cool um i am going to grab an audio clip so we can try to use it together so now we'll get a real demo i'll probably delete the other video now that he's done this i only did that video because i was um trying to get really just draw attention to the fact that demos should be full so that a person gets a, a full perspective of what they're actually buying versus just randomly buying anything, right? Because there's a lot of people that do sell products and there's no demo on it. It's like, what is that? So this is an authentic demo in my opinion. Let's listen to the sample. Okay, so that's at its regular speed. Let's send this back here. And we're gonna use the regular wide and we'll start stretching. Let's do about 60%, somewhere around there. Let's add some more to that. A little bit more. Different windows are really cool. Now let's start playing with some of these. There we go. See that? That sounds good. Nice. Like you, okay, so you can draw the points in them. Oh, this is cool. And just so you know, for those that think I don't enjoy his stuff, I wouldn't be doing this much work on somebody's. He didn't give it to me free. We're using the demo. This is really good. All right, it's already I'm feeling it. You can raise it. Okay, so these are different tools that you're drawing the envelopes. Nice. Undo and redo, very nice. This is like a envelope, I guess it follows along there. Create some modulation. Let's take the phase all the way up and do some different positioning. So this is randomness, right? Ooh, the dry wet, let's see what that's like. Why is the dry wet not working? All right, I'm not complaining, I'm just saying it's not working. So hopefully you can hear me, I'm talking as loud as I can. I'm using my microphone on my iPad. Most of the time I have no problem hearing my own stuff and I got, terrible here at least that's what my wife says but um, 
So there's all this over here for live. I'm not gonna touch live because probably I will not use this much on live. Let's check some of the different algorithms. So if you move it around, you can obviously find sections that you want to use. Freeze it or unfreeze it. So I'm guessing when you freeze it, it stops the, and it just starts here and just remains there. And when you unfreeze it, it tells you, <laughs> this is really cool, the date of when it's going to get here. And with this random phase, and you see how it jumps? So one of the things is, here, I'm going to stop it. So one of the things is when I was thinking about this and Paul Stretch, Paul Stretch is really nice for a free plugin. I mean, it's incredible. And some of the stretching reminds me of that kind of vibe that you can come up with. However, once you start throwing in these features down here, I think this slum is better. And, and only in the sense that it gives you some more tools to help shape the sound that you want. Um, it's similar in the way of the stretching portion of it, in my opinion. But yes, yeah, definitely different. I wonder what you do happens when you take the dry off. So let's see if that what that does. All right, here's what it on. So you only hear Go back to Y. See how it's moving and jumping, I wonder. Wow. Totally changes my thinking, just these effects down here. So you could get kind of glitchy or drone. Feels like it's going into the drone. on some vocals too. Let's try it on something different. So we're gonna reset, we'll go none for this portion. Now let's see, I don't think I have vocals. What would it do on some drums? So let's go back to like a George Benson and grab these drums. All right, so here, let's see if we can reset. Yeah, okay, he did set that right. So you could turn that off because I want you to hear it without having the, and there is an input level that's awesome for recording in. So let's do this. All right, let's go back to the beginning. If you double click, it looks like he set everything to where it can be. Yeah, right where it started. All right, cool. So let's. It's already going slow, but I, it doesn't sound like, let's listen to what this sample sounds like before I put it in there. And what does it set at 89? I wonder if the tempo here in some way could affect it. All right, let's do it again. Oh, 
Okay. All right, so. Okay. Let's speed it up or um, slow it down technically in this case, right? I'm not really getting anything from this, these drums at least. Let's try an organ. Okay, let's try something different. Let's multiply it up. It's like a wah-wah pedal almost. So I'm not sure when the line crosses what it's doing there. Okay, so this is moving the random phasing, I guess, moving it to. Interesting. Sounds like AOL <laughs> dial up. Remember, oh, anybody is old enough to remember AOL dial up? That is pretty cool, though. pretty interesting okay so let me give my opinion because I'll be here all day doing this um, if you have nothing like this if you have nothing like this this thing is amazing now I don't know where he's gonna take it next if he has plans I'm sure he does to to push it and enhance it he may be adding more to it and the price could go up because it costs to keep you know things like this going and doing it I would say at 35 or 40 bucks, whatever he's charging right now, it's probably a solid price. Um, and it is, it does have similarities to other stuff, of course. And what doesn't? Because everything today is a remake or an enhanced version of something else that's already existing. So we're not comparing it in the essence of trying to find what it's like. Because if you need modulation, you can get an LFO and move this stuff right you can move the sound um 
so that's not impossible. Paul Stretch has the stretching ability. Now this thing stretches. I haven't. I, I messed with these algorithms a little bit, but not a lot. And of course, everything you put in is going to sound a little bit different. But I think it's just a solid piece, man. I first was a little skeptical because I couldn't mess with this. But as long as you have the full version, this is not bad at all. And if you just want to put the audio in and just stretch it, I mean, keep multiplying it up. Let's take it a little further. It's like it's trying to travel. I would like to know what the wet dry does. It looks like he didn't open that version up. Or the dry wet. You can connect it with the host, which is good. So that way the host plays the tempos. Okay. Twenty one oh four. It'll finally get to this end here. That stretch so long. That's crazy. Let's bring it back. It really is like being in space. Ooh, that's nice. So you gotta play around till you get the right setting. You know what would be cool on this? Let me stop it so I don't have to toss a lot. You know what would be really cool on this too? If there was a, and, and really you don't need this at all, by the way, and I don't know what this is. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is for the manual. Okay, so that's nice too. But you know what would be cool? Is if there was a random button that gives you random positions of everything to make it just where instead of you coming in and having to file the dial in because that could take a little time i you see how long i've been i don't even know how long this video is going for but i could be up here all day sitting here playing with these dials trying to find a sound wouldn't it be cool if we had a random button that randomly selects different sections that randomly selects different stretches and points of stretching now this might be able to be created in AUM, being that, I mean AUM, I'm sorry, in um, Ableton, because you can put a randomizer on an instrument and then lock it into certain uh, things. Now the problem is, how do you get the multiplier, this increased range factor by 10, to go to different spots with the random, I don't know how that would work. So, it would be cool if it was built in. He does have a randomness on the positioning, which is kind of nice. Um, so anyway, that just crossed my mind as I was sitting here using this. Um, and it looks like you can save a session. I'm sure, yeah, that's disabled until you get the thing. That makes sense. I mean, I, you gotta have some features that are disabled. You can't give everything away. Um, but yeah, this is, this is nice. So much better using the shaping um than just stretching it the, to me this this makes makes it so much better um of course whatever sound you put in here is going to make a difference if you use not every sound is going to be good um i just don't think that's possible i think you're going to have to some sounds are going to be nicer and sound better and you're going to easily get there so enough of me rambling i'm going to end it this time because otherwise i'll go right back into it and try to find something else for the price, it's definitely worth it. Okay. See, so, yeah, I went my 20 minutes. So we're going to end it there. And um, yeah, I'm going to be taking the other video down. I did not put that video up to Slam Sloom, Slam Sloom, or Slam JJ. I like his stuff. He does a good job. I still bought Factoid. I upgraded when he went to VST. That lets you know that I still like it. Otherwise, there's no way I would have spent the money on it, right? Money doesn't grow on trees these days, guys. Oh, I didn't even notice this. So yeah, you can enlarge the thing. If your eyes are bad and you want to make it go a little bit bigger, you can do that.
pretty cool. Okay, that's it. I'm out.